Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm having issues using the video and trying to, you know, do the screen share stuff. Uh, so what I'm trying to do today is show you how to connect your BeatStep Pro to Logic Pro in the year 2023. Uh, my issue with never being able to figure out was I can never find an updated video. It was always like outdated Logic Pro, um, or it was a KeyStep Pro with Logic, and then, um, you know, the combination wasn't exactly the same. So I figured it out yesterday. Uh, and I just wanted to share with you. Uh, I'm not a professional, I'm not an expert, definitely not an expert, but if you have any questions, I'll try to help you. Um, highly recommend starting here. Uh, we'll start at the BeatStep Pro um, from Materia.com, go to their resources, and then you'll find a new firmware. Uh, just wanna just get you started by suggesting and recommending it. From there, you'll scroll down to the firmware, and then you'll go ahead and click this, and then that'll download to your computer. Um, or from here you can download it. So what you want to do from here, uh, you'll have the uh, MIDI control center. Go ahead and uh, get that pulled up. When you do, it'll look like this when it first opens. So if you want to up update the firmware real quick, go ahead and click this button and then upgrade and then it'll do its thing. It'll turn off and you know do its thing to upgrade. Uh, so from here, uh, the last thing to do, what I recommend uh, after doing that recommendation, uh, go to the MIDI control centers, the device settings here, and then uh, look for MIDI channel. From here, we'll go ahead and make sequencer one, channel one, sequencer two, channel two, the drums as channel three. So it's like first, second, and third, as it is on the BeatStep Pro, just to make it easy. After you update the MIDI channel, if you need to, that is, Go ahead and save it and then it'll go ahead and save as whatever you want it to be and then that should be working now so once you do that you'll go ahead and, and get to logic pro from logic pro uh, you'll want to go ahead and add three software tracks i just went ahead and did it just to be faster and more you know just to make it quicker for for you to watch so we'll start with track one which is going to be my base and i I do have some stuff set up here um, on my Speed Step Pro. Sorry, it's going to be a loud noise for a sec. Mm -hmm. All right, so what I'm trying to demonstrate is right mm -hmm. now, without it being a video, use your imagination. I'm on the drum track and I'm just pushing play on the Beat Step Pro. And then something will happen eventually. The screen is lagging. Yay. Okay, there's sound. I'm going to turn it up. So you get an idea. Drum track is working, but then I go to the synth track and it'll just do the same thing but for synths. And you know, it's not what we want, right? Okay, so now what we're gonna do to make this all work, we'll start with the bass. We'll go ahead and go to the track section here. It'll drop down. And then for MIDI port, you can do all or Turio Pro whatever one you want to do, does it, I don't understand the difference. MIDI channel in is the important part. So we want to assign track one to MIDI channel one. And then MIDI channel out, I don't know what that does, um, but it doesn't seem to mess with the software side of things. Um, you know, channel two, it's going to be MIDI channel two. And then, you know, once again, whatever you want for that, uh, MIDI channel out, good. If you want to copy, that's fine. For this one, you see, that's the same MIDI channel too, and I don't even know what it's doing. Um, so, go ahead and make, you know, track three, channel three on the MIDI. So now that that's going on, every all of these will be, you know, be able to play, which, like, you know, simultaneously. The issue right now is when I push play, you know, it's still not doing it. Like, it's only playing individually. So what it, what it, what it took for me to figure it out was you have to click all three of the records because that way they'll be if they're all active tracks and then the, the, it'll all connect so now this will be all three playing at the same time and you can tell here so demonstration of how that should work that's about it y'all if you have any questions i'll try to help i'm not an expert of course, I'm not, uh, <laughs> uh, but you know, let me know if it helps, 
and I hope you have a great day.